I just interviewed two of the Guardians of the Galaxy and this is how it went. Big thank you to Karen Gillan and Palm Clementiev for actually giving me their time. It was absolutely surreal to get to see their opinions on the production of Guardians. So without further ado, here is the interview. Thank you guys so much for your time. I'm here with the amazing Karen Gillan and Palm Clementiev. The first question that I have for you guys is if you could describe your co-stars with one word, what would it be? Hilarious, cheeky. Everyone's a I little bit that. cheeky. Okay, yes, I love that. And and following up from that, who in the cast made people laugh uncontrollably the most on set? I mean, everyone is pretty funny. On purpose, Chris. Chris is so funny. By accident, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Um, when it comes to the movie itself, I saw it, it was it was amazing. Uh, and, and you guys delivered an amazing performance, but I wanted to know, this franchise is known for its action set pieces. So was there ever a time where you wanted to do uh, an action set piece, but you were like, ah, oh, maybe I should let the stunt people do this. Uh, yeah, I remember actually it was in volume two. Um, there was like a big, huge, we had to like run across the ground and we had wires on us and then we had to leap off the end and they would like swing us really far and then all the way back and they did a demonstration for me and I was like this is gonna be better if the stunt woman does it I'm telling you because when I'm really scared I turn into a possum and it happens to me on every single roller coaster that I go on I just go like that and I knew that that was gonna happen so I thought let's save us the film um, and I won't do it but then Zoe was like I'll do it and I was like oh no okay <laughs> now I look particularly weak <laughs> <laughs> She's a badass. Oh, I love that. How about you, Pam? Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to take away from the hard work of the, the, the stunt team and, yes. and everyone who works on the, you know, with the stunts and the choreography. But like most of the time, I want to do more and I'm asking for more. I'm like, I want to do this and this. And I love to do like stuff in the air, and, like upside down. It's really fun. So, yeah. But I got I to do that. more. I got to do more in this movie. So that was exciting, too. Yes. Yes, and it was amazing to see. And and bo for both of you, right? Both of your characters have some of the more intricate uh, and and frankly cool special effects uh, and and practical makeup in the MCU. So, do you have anything that to kind of distract yourself during the hours of of makeup? Oh, this is this oh, one is for this Karen. Is, uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is where you learn about me, because <laughs> we yeah. share a makeup truck, and so she's privy to all of this. But okay. I. Okay, there's two things I do. Number one, I watch reality television, like <laughs> Love is Blind. Okay. My per makeup artists, like they're really invested in it now <laughs> because we've watched so many hours of it. And the second thing that I do is listen to the Top Gun theme song <laughs> yes. on repeat, on okay. repeat. So and she was listening, listen to that. she was listening so much that at some point I had to take a video of it and send it to Tom. Uh, Cruz because I was working with him on Mission Impossible, so yeah. I sent <laughs> How embarrassing and, is that? And she was like wearing the half the makeup, so it was very oh. funny and he loved it. <laughs> yeah, he was like, haha, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. And and okay. So speaking of the set, do, do you guys have any keepsakes from from the sets that you've been on throughout these like all these years in the MCU? I mean, I I took a, a one set of the antennas, but when when you just see at, look at the antennas, they look like a slug. So it's not <laughs> particularly cool. But I have them, and it's just a little bit creepy, you know. <laughs> Same for you, right? It's just like the face is just... Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't take my face because I took it off for the final time and then it's sort of a second skin that's glued to me, so I was looking at it like, Ugh, I'm not gonna take this home. This is disgusting. Um, so I, I didn't, I didn't take anything. Just, just the memories. That's okay. That's okay. And I think I only have one minute left, so I wanted to ask, uh, what's your favorite memory uh, playing Nebula and Mantis in the MCU? Um, favorite memories are usually just the moments in between the scenes when we all just get to kind of sit on chairs and and interact with each other and tell stories and listen to stories and um, yeah, it's the connection between all of us. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. All right, thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you. That was one of the craziest experiences of my entire life, and I could not be happier to have shared this moment with you. Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to Disney, Marvel Studios, and of course, Karen and Palm for giving me their time and letting me have the opportunity to do this interview. I hope you guys enjoyed. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is out in theaters right now, so check it out and let me know what you thought about the movie in the comments down below.